Hey guys, Lee Labrada here with Labrada Nutrition and just wanted to share some tips with you today about how to prevent colds and flus. You know, the winter season is upon us and uh, so that it's that time of year when some of us get to uh, get a little run down and we start coming down with things. So it's one of the biggest questions that I get is, uh, you know, what do you do? What do you do to, uh, to avoid colds and flus and that kind of thing? So wanted to start by saying that I'm not a doctor. And so if you are already sick, be sure to go to see your doctor because your doctor's going to know best. And uh, these tips are things that I do personally to try to stay healthy during uh, flu season. So let's talk a little bit for a second about why we're more prone to catch colds during this time of year, you know, which is uh, the winter months. And the reason for that is that typically we're indoors. We're in an environment where it's dry, so the air is drier, that type of thing. And these microorganisms and uh, viruses that cause the colds tend to live longer in that type of environment. You know, and so um, it's easier to uh, uh, spread colds during uh, this time. You know, so that's uh, one of the things that you have to keep in mind. So here's some things that I do. First of all, I make sure that I uh, keep my uh, diet very healthy, okay? So I eat five to six times a day, a balanced uh, diet that contains plenty of protein, complex carbohydrates, essential fats, uh, vitamins and minerals, which we'll be talking about it here in just a second. I eat lots of fruits and vegetables. I get a, uh, a serving of yogurt every day because the probiotic in the yogurt is really good for gut health and uh, gut health is essential for maintaining your immunity. So that's one of the things that you can do during this time of year. Make sure that you're getting a good probiotic supplement or make sure that you're getting yogurt every day in, uh, in your daily regimen. So I start by eating a good diet. I make sure that I exercise every day to keep myself healthy, you know, to keep my stamina up. I make sure that I rest. You gotta get, gotta get sleep, you know, you gotta make sure that you don't get run down, that's very important. I minimize uh, any kind of alcohol intake. You know, I might have the occasional glass of wine or two, you know, at the holiday party, but uh, I typically try to keep the alcohol to a minimum. Uh, definitely don't use tobacco products or smoke or any of this kind of stuff. You know, and then just try to keep stress levels low. So those are some things that you can do. In addition to that, I uh, wanna talk a little bit about uh, vitamins and supplements that you might be able to utilize that uh, will be helpful for you and which I covered in a recent article on, on uh, uh, preventing colds during this time of year during the winter seasons. I'm going to start with vitamin D because vitamin D to me is probably the most important vitamin that you can supplement uh, because it's, uh, it's, it's, it has a very uh, important impact on the immune system you know and it keeps the immune system healthy. There's a lot of people that have vitamin D deficiencies. And if you have a vitamin D deficiency, you're typically at, uh, uh, up to one and a half times uh, more likely to uh, get an infection than somebody that has normal vitamin D levels. So uh, the good news is that you can get your vitamin D levels measured by your doctor. And if you're low, it's very easy to supplement. I typically take 10,000 to 15,000 I use of vitamin D every day. So uh, vitamin D, start with that. Some other vitamins, vitamin C, you know, we've always been told that vitamin C is good for colds, right? And it is, you know, so 1,000 to 1,500 milligrams of vitamin C every day is, is good. As far as other supplements go, uh, glutamine is a really important one. It's an amino acid, but this amino acid is uh, uh, probably the most important amino acid in the body in terms of your immune system. So it's important to get some glutamine every day. I use the Labrada Glutaline glutamine supplement and I take typically five to 10 grams of that every day on an empty stomach. So these are some of the things that you can do in order to, uh, uh, you know, I guess, you know, strengthen your immune system uh, to help prevent colds and, vi uh, and, and viruses from taking place, uh, uh, you know, and you come in down and getting sick and that type of thing. Nobody likes to do that. That's, that's, uh, that's no fun. So uh, again, just to summarize, make sure you eat a good healthy diet. Make sure you stick with your exercise program. Keep your, keep your stress low. Oh, one more. Uh, the, the colds are typically transmitted by touching things and then bringing them to your face. Okay, so you know you might touch a doorknob that somebody with a cold has uh, touched and then obviously you come up and you scratch your nose or you scratch your eye or something like that and that's how you pick it up. So wash your, wash your hands a lot, don't take your hands to your face, that's another important one. And uh, without further ado, I hope that some of these tips will be helpful to you. Be sure to uh, check back in. I'm Lee Labrada with Labrada Nutrition. Stay healthy.